Now, throughout the week, young people from all over the UK have been taking part in a project called Shine, aimed at showcasing their talents. The afternoon, the week-long series of programmes culminated with about 200 youngsters taking part in a debate in the House of Lords. I reckon what the newspapers and the media should do is concentrate on the fantastic stuff our young people are doing and actually sticking it on the front page because my parents, they get so excited when they see me on the front page and doing something fantastic for the youth. It's very easy to sit down and say, well, let's just shoot down all the celebrities because we don't think they're of any importance. But, you know, we are society, we create celebrity, so the change starts with us, really. Why should I pay £3,225 to do a journalism degree at university when it's been given out to people like you who've just managed to fish a footballer out of a pub? I don't... <laughs> I just don't get it. Find the answers to our problems. Now it's our turn to go out and change that reality. Thank you. Well, it looked very exciting, didn't it? Joining us now in the studio are Lewis Smith and Emmanuel Boateng, who are at the House of Lords today. They've been taking part in the project called The Bridge, which aims at getting youngsters more interested in politics. Uh, Lewis, if I can start with you, uh, are you now interested in politics? Was that good fun today? It, it, it was fantastic today. Yeah. Never imagined that I could be in a place like the House of Lords, giving my views to other people and also people of um, Parliament. It's fantastic. Is it, is it the kind, I was just going to say, is it, is it the kind of thing that uh, you would ever have dreamed of doing before this? Not at all, not at all. I never thought I'd be in a place like that doing that. It was fantastic fun. I wish I could do it again. I stood up once, gave my views, I got a good response. I wish that I said more and got more across, but it was excellent. Emmanuel, tell us a bit more about your bridge project and how that has actually uh, translated into, into young people going out and voting who haven't voted before. Absolutely. Um, the bridge project um, was actually a 20-week project and prior to the actual project I, didn't, I was not interested in politics per se. But after that, um, after that project, um, um, it basically opened my eyes to what politics is really about. Um, it basically took on board um, such um, um, store, um, such topics within our society such as um, gun crime and knife crime which is normally basically emphasised by the media in not, a, not such a positive way and when after, after that actual 20-week um, um, programme a documentary was, um, was produced, a story was produced um, a little short documentary was it? Short film. A short film, yeah, produced and um, that went on, we went to, um, we then gave it to um, Justin Justin, Justin Stinnett, Justin who Stinnett. brought together the bridge, Absolutely. which collaborated with what we've done today to bring yeah. together Shine Week. Mm -hmm. Shine, Shine Week um, is basically a week where um, young people get to showcase their talents. Um, I believe um, um, today was the finale um, where um, we, were, we had opportunity to go into the House of the Lord. Um, but during the whole week, um, young people was able to showcase um, musical talent, um, creativity talent and, and whatnot. And um, it, was a great, it was a great way to end it. I actually had the opportunity to actually sit in the House of Lords, stand up and whatnot, and basically get my views <laughs> and get an encore and serve. It's got quite, quite a story to tell to your family and friends. Absolutely. I mean, practically, going forward, how do you think what you've done in, the, in this last week is actually going to help you in your futures? Definitely because I work with a theatre group weekly and I always tell them that there's different ways to handle our problems and this has brought light upon me that I can talk to my um, local government, my um, borough, bring my problems to them so we could collaborate together to help do things actively together. Absolutely. Because, because Emmanuel, I was just going to say that I mean, young people these days seem to have an unremittingly bad press, whether it's hoodies, youth yeah. crime, knives, that kind of thing. Do you think society doesn't listen enough to young people? Do you know what? Um, I'm particularly from um, Hackney. Um, I'm from Hackney and um, constant bad press about that. Um, there's so much good that came out from Hackney. Leona Lewis, um, Sir Alan Sugar, he's my idol. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're going to yeah. see you on The Apprentice soon. Absolutely, are we? <laughs> you will. <laughs> You're yeah, a um, fan then. Pardon? You're a Tottenham fan then? Oh, not at all, I'm a <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah, so um, 
Yeah, in terms of um, the media and the um, press concerning um, young people, um, I think uh, it's emphasised a bit too much, in a sense, in a negative, in a negative form, and um, it really needs to be portrayed as a um, um, as a way of basically showing young people that's not actually the way forward. It is getting, it, it, it is trying to solve that problem, but it's not doing it in a way where. Um, they're bringing out some sort of positive Im image out of it. I think um, they're installing a lot of fear into the community because um, older people actually watch and um, watch these things, and they are actually living in the community, and they are actually scared to come out. It's putting it's putting fear into young people, and young people think the only way that that they will be able to actually um, like <laughs> stay away from it mm. is by being involved in it mm. because they'll be able to get that type of protection and. That it's it's quite it's quite a big of a task. And All right. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, we do have to, to leave it there, but we hope this has been a very positive experience oh, of the media for you, Emmanuel Lewis. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right now, bit of business.